Hello everyone, Kawa here. Today we're going to look into metaverse architecture, a look into the future of property. Our resume architect is a full-fledged architecture consultancy. Uh, we do real-life architecture and of course uh, at the same time uh, we serve a lot of clients across these years and have been featured in a lot of media throughout this year. Our venture into Web3 are superseded by the efforts to create virtual architecture into some of these amazing uh, NFT artists' galleries. And of course, naturally, the idea of NFT intrigued us. And the idea of representation in a tokenized uh, environment where every token is registered in a secure ledger, the idea of thinking about how this technology can be transferred into property started from a simple change of, of the letter T from token to terraces. Terraces is one of the most popular residential class. It is the exact opposite of NFTs, which is unique and personalized, hence the non-fungible aspect of it. Meanwhile, terrace houses are usually standardized and repetitive. But if you look at the natural cost of progression of a landed terrace house, individual owners are desperate to express their individuality, turning a repetitive housing row into a non-fungible housing room where it's all fairly personalized to the taste of the individual. And of course, Terrace House remains the most popular residential segment and it's derived from our colonial past, looking into how this new township after the independence has adopted this fairly efficient housing model but at that moment of time, terrace house were fairly small. And as time goes, it become more and more premium. And with stratification, terrace house could go up three or to four stories. And this also affects the affordability of these houses. Of course, when they become bigger, they become more premium and they serve higher segment of the market. And of course, the main major cities are in Malaysia, even though stratified apartments or high rises dominated most of the skyline today, Terrace House remain one of the most popular housing product. So when COVID came, this past four years has accelerated the adoption of technology and advancement of technology as equivalent for the last 100 years with the adoption of hybrid work and learning environment, with the emphasis on shopping uh, through online means. And of course, we are able to connect to more people as smart home furniture and appliances has become mainstream. And in the near future, autonomous driving vehicle will become the staple of our road. And of course, with that, electrification of mobility. Hence, architecture will be modularized to cope with the demand of the future, but at the same time, sustainable and more resilient than ever. Food is also another factor. And as you can see today, production of food are fairly crucial. Production of food will slowly transfer into more sterile environment, more artificial environment where they can be harvested more efficiently and commerce will be done in a cashless virtual environment. This is the preset of Sime Dhabi Home Concept 2030 competition, which jointly organized by Sime Dhabi Property and Tubuhan Architect Malaysia that we find intrigue. And this narrative is supported by the four pillars of the competition. If you look at the democratization of simple things like frozen yogurt, a small ticket item, 
and and you have you are spoiled with choices and as you grew or you know the purchase become a little bit more important to the point where you need to get a higher purchase loan for example a car the amount of democratization or customization dramatically goes down and when you buying something as expensive as property that you might be paying with a mortgage for 25 to 35 years uh you are fairly left with no choice so this is the paradox as things that you bought get more and more expensive more serious per se you are not offered with more options but you know the exact opposite of it so that's why we come up with the idea of a non fungible terraces where each terrace houses is fairly unique and the idea is to create a street with character but you know at the same time still have a architectural like la design language that is homogeneous harmonious and integrated so if you look at the the steps per se we we just you know try to make it fairly easy edit mint and build these three steps as easy as abc in a collaborative environment you can design your own house so we presented that idea and fortunately we won i think this is some of the things that you know in line with some dabis um core values to give options making purchasing property more democratic and we get a lot of great coverage from local newspapers and of course uh, overseas as well we are featured in in august uh, that the hong kong's uh, issue and basically this idea uh based on four main ideas it came from nft and also metaverse so first is generative art number two is physic physical digital or what we call it digital a combination of both interaction of physical and digital the world of metaverse and of course the decentralized autonomous organization or dao so if you look at generative arts it's the empowerment of artificial intelligence to work on a certain algorithm to work on a certain preset geometry or elements in order to create generative art so if you look at how a possible house uh, could be broken down for example to walls doors window and roof with only few presets we can already produce good number of customized house and if you if you just imagine we introduce one or two additional sqs the outcome will be almost infinite if we keep adding on new and better technologies in the future the combination will be endless will, will be infinite number two of course uh, even though we are talking about the metaverse to a certain extent we have to understand the value are packed to the physical entity so in order for for that we have to bridge the physical and digital the idea is to create a digital terrace or terrace houses okay but they perform different functions a physical terrace house of course for you to live in the actuality of the space meanwhile the digital is for other things that could be not possible in the in the physical space it, there are three digital mode digital model digital shadow and digital twin digital model is fairly a rough representation of the physical one and of course they don't actually interact unless manual input or manual data is being inserted in between them meanwhile digital shadow is when the physicality is reflected in digital okay without having to have any manual input so the information flows one direction update in the physical house will update the digital house if we can get to the digital twin web information flows automatically for the physical and digital and vice versa and the idea of this this digital use of the metaverse version of the house could be 
as an extension of your home office, which is the virtual office. And of course, if you are a small SMEs operating from your house, you can turn your metaverse terrace house into a virtual shop. So I'm not necessarily advocating the house should be an exact replica of your physical house. It could be an alternate version of your physical house. Of course, when everyone is on the digital platform, it can be utilized as neighborhood management. When you have this digital version, it also can assist you with home automation and management. You can manage your electric electrical usage, your utility bills, and of course, turning on and off certain smart appliances in your house. Now, if you look at Metaverse, it is just a fairly uh, broad umbrella. Anything that offer a different realm that is beyond this universe in a 3D virtual world could be considered as a metaverse. So in the metaverse, there are certain foundational elements that are needed to ensure that metaverse can run. The internet, of course, the open st standard of media. So things could come across from one metaverse system to the next. Open programming language and standards. Decentralized ledger and smart contract which is uh, an important element to give value to the metaverse. I mean, of course, you can have a virtual world without any uh, proof of ownership, but the idea of having uh, value stored in the metaverse is what makes it attractive today. You need a hardware to access this metaverse, either extended or mixed reality apparatus, or your computer and phones. And of course, uh, how you experience metaverse will differ the medium that metaverse is designed for. Now, if you look at uh, the popularity of this particular uh, medium for experience, definitely right now, they are more focused on headset and followed closely by mobiles that usually leverage on augmented reality technologies. Meanwhile, um, devices that is in the scale of a room due to the prohibiting costs. And of course, you need space to do it. It's fairly catching up, but still has room for improvement. And the focus of real estate metaverse should be covering these three layers, experience, of course, and discovery to create a layer of content, okay, duration, and, and to a certain extent, Maybe there is an economy revolved around it. Of course, Metaverse does not exist in its own echo chamber. Metaverse is actually a consolidation of other technologies. And of course, we, we have virtual space for quite some time now. But the reason why it came back and came back with a value this time, due to the fact of advent of NFTs powered by blockchain, and somehow a lot of metaverse have their own tokenomics that it, it is a form of cryptocurrency that running on a decentralized ledger. So all this came into a system that is visual, that is interactive, that is engaging, which is the metaverse. Uh, the idea of using metaverse in real estate is first to visualize the real estate and to a certain extent, digital land the digital land will be populated by digital product in a digital environment, a mirror of your actual property. So this is some of the use cases that has been utilized around the world. Decentralized autonomous organizations or DAO play an important role. The idea was to create an entity that is free and, you know, hopefully more democratic as the power to vote is distributed evenly to everyone. The idea was really to relook the existing model of a property management corporation that used to be the independent party that somehow managed the property on the owner's behalf and of course, coordinate efforts, collective efforts of the particular property to ensure it runs smoothly. To, to a certain extent, DAO might have the ability, you know, a bit more sophisticated DAO, definitely, 
now is in, in, in infancy, development are needed to ensure that DAO can operate to a utmost efficiency that manage, for, for example, the motions of the particular stakeholders of the property if they want to you know, raise maintenance or even make payments to third-party vendors that actually serving the property. Now, if you look at it, it is basically, you know, some of the some of the obvious use case for DAO in, in property or real estate will be voting during the annual meeting. And of course, the sense of togetherness, the democratization of managing the property. Each property will have their own deed that is legal to the country that issue, you know, the title, the deed. But at the same time, if the property wants to be fractionalized, NFT is a good mechanism that you can prove partial or partial ownership of that particular uh, property. And of course, utilities are also possible to be packed with their NFTs to enjoy other lifestyle uh, perks. For example, maybe access to a certain community or events or engaging, you know, in a social party, or even use it as a proof of social currency that you are living in a certain neighborhood to, to a point where these utilities are fairly uh, wide. And of course, this is uh, also a growing areas that will be more and more attractive in the future and more sophisticated, of course. I think that is all. And obviously, this is just the beginning. And who know where these ideas, this innovation will lead us. Thank you so much for listening and looking forward to see you again in the future. Take care. Bye.